Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Pisces. Pisces, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. And I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Pisces for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Pisces, please. All right, you're showing up as the King of Pentacles. You're viewing your person as the Justice card. And you're viewing the connection as the Nine of Pentacles. I'm hearing healthy space and room to breathe here. Your person showing up as the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm, you do mirror each other in a lot of ways. They're viewing you as the Queen of Wands in reverse, though. And they're viewing the connection as the King of Wands in reverse. So they definitely feel like you two are soulmates, possibly at separation here. Um, but I'm also seeing here this person might be a little bit worried that you have other options, Pisces. Four of Pentacles, the Sun... And we have the Hermit all showing up in reverse. Somebody here may be a Virgo Leo cusp. We have very strong Libra, Leo, and Virgo coming through in fire energy. And the Moon, we have Cancer Pisces coming through. So Pisces, it's important that you trust your intuition here. We do have the Sun and the Moon coming out. And we also have the King and the Queen of Wands. So I can see this is a very, very intense soulmate connection We'll see, we'll see if it's any, what, what else that means or what that might entail. But the King of Pentacles tells me you're doing quite well for yourselves. King of Pentacles is, you know, stability, you know, working hard on your finances, on your health, looking good, feeling good. Okay. And we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So I do feel that you're looking for someone who's going to be ride or die, you know, till death do us part type energy there with these two people. Um, but I also feel a lot of you, you've, you're recovering from um, some sort of financial loss or financial difficulties. I'm also seeing with the Five of Pentacles, some of my Pisces, you could be self-made. So maybe you came from very little or nothing and you've made, you know, you've, you've amassed quite a fortune. Some of you, it's really interesting. This came out in the Virgo reading, your opposite sign. And we also do a Virgo energy here in this, in this reading. But some of my Virgos were dealing with somebody who, you know, may have been prioritizing work and finances. And it does feel like that's something that you're doing. But I also feel with the five of pentacles here, a lot of you, you might be missing this person, or you might be, you know, missing your person, now you're viewing this person as a Libra, so you see them as very diplomatic and romantic and tactful, um, well put together, balanced. Um, you may see them as a twin flame or a soulmate here. Some of you, you see them as definitely somebody you could marry or you could be with for long term. And with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, you like this person because they do things differently. They might be different than your usual type. Um, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse also indicates that a lot of you, you like this person because they, this person takes their time making big decisions. They're not impulsive. Um, they're not super reactionary is what I'm getting. Again, not that they, they lack emotion or they're a bit of a you know robot or anything like that. But I just feel like you like this person's, their, their, their presence, their calming um, some of you, you may know this person through work. Some of you also might be, you might know this person through some sort of legal avenue or some sort of legal, like, you know, I don't know what that means, but I'm hearing like you might know them because of legal issues, something like that, um, or they work in the legal department. I don't know. Um, the nine of pentacles though tells me this relationship, but you, you see that there's, you want to give to this relationship. I, I, you see the potential for this to be a healthy relationship, for there to be healthy space and room for you to breathe. And I also feel continuing, like a lot of you, you might have high work hours or, you know, you have your own businesses, that type of thing. So I do feel like you, you feel like this person could really add so much value to your life and would understand you and understand your responsibilities. Yeah. See, you see this person as somebody very compatible. You see this relationship as one that can get on the same page if you're on the outs, or you see this relationship as one that, you know, really comes together 
um, can come together and, 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 and is that you both want the same things. This person is showing up as the Knight of Pentacles. They might be a little bit younger than you, but you're showing up as the King of Pentacles. Some of you, you could be their boss or vice versa, but it feels like you do share the same values here. It's like you're both really hardworking. Yeah, you see this person as the Judgment card, Aries, Scorpio energy, or sorry, this person is showing up as that energy. So this is somebody who's definitely working hard to, you know, maybe climb climb the ladder, you know, the, you know, and when it comes to business um, or in their company, um, this person is definitely, they want to come back around if you two are in separation. All right. This is somebody that is going to, that wants to call you, wants to work on things. I do get that there's an energy of loyalty to this person. Like I do feel that they're loyal. I do feel that they're not, um, yeah, like I don't think they have any third parties. We'll see. But they're a little bit worried about you, Pisces, with this Queen of Wands in reverse. They they might be worried that there's somebody around you or maybe they, they're not trusting you for some reason. Again, you know, don't shoot the messenger here. This person just might be insecure if they've been cheated on in the past. Um, but they see you as their Ten of Cups. They're very physically attracted to you. Some of my Pisces, this may be a connection where it, it's been just purely physical thus far, or you're just recently dating this person. And what I'm seeing is that this person definitely sees long term with you, um, but they're a little bit worried that maybe that, you know, that it is just a physical connection for you or that you have other options or that you're not ready to settle down. The King of Wands in reverse, again, this person's this person wants commitment or they see commitment, but they're a little bit worried that for some reason that can't happen. Yeah. And you've got them in their feels. You have somebody here who's very nervous about this connection, Pisces. So I do see that if you want to work things out, you know, maybe you're taking things slow. Maybe, you know, there's nothing wrong with when you start dating somebody, you know, dating a few people, you know, check, you know, seeing what options you have. Um, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to lock it down on like the first date, right? But what I'm seeing here is this person is really, really nervous and anxious about you, about this connection, because they want more and they're worried that you don't want the same things. So the four of pentacles in reverse tells me you have somebody here who's been holding back and I don't think they're going to hold back anymore. Um, and we have the ten of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So I do feel that you've got somebody here who's single. Um, for some of my Pisces, this person may have been waiting for you to get out of a connection. Okay, waiting for a connection to end here. Yeah, for some of you, yeah, I feel like this person may be letting go. Like, I, I feel like there's a potential here for my Pisces to, to either they want to take you off the market or you're going to, you know, you two are going to, you're not going to be single for much longer is the energy I'm getting. Um, for some of you, there are financial issues here at work. There's lots of pentacles showing up. So again, you might work together. That could be an issue, something that's keeping you two apart. Somebody here may also have quite a lot of debt. Okay. Or they have a lot of bills to pay. So they're spread kind of thin. It's just, there's something here about finances coming through. The sun in reverse tells me that, you know, the sun card is Leo energy. It's still the happiest card in the deck. This person may have hidden feelings or, again, maybe they feel like they can't fully read you. Yeah, this person's a little bit worried, Pisces, that they can't trust you for some reason. And, and again, it might have absolutely zero to do with you. It may have to do with what they've been through, the baggage that they're bringing to this connection. I do think with the Magician in Reverse, this is my personal Mercury Retrograde card. And so it does feel like, you know, this person does want this connection to come back around. I think they do have hidden feelings. It is possible there's been a misunderstanding or some sort of miscommunication that really caused problems between the two of you. I do think with the Hermit card in reverse, though, you do have this person who isn't going to hide any longer or isn't going to hide their feelings any longer. They do want resolution. They do want to get on the same page. They've definitely been stressing and worrying about you and about this connection. Yeah. And we see with the high priestess energy, this is someone who's got secret feelings for you. For some of you, like I said, it's just been a physical connection. Somebody recently that you've been seeing or dating. Some of you, it's a secret admirer. For others of you, it's somebody you're on the outs with. But we get this hermit energy in reverse Virgo energy coming out twice, which tells me you both might have Virgo in your chart. You both might be overthinkers. You both might be really in your head about this connection. But I actually see two people that really do want to get on the same page here. 
um, you know, whatever that might be. Um, yeah. And for some of you, like I do see you've got somebody here up leveling, or maybe both of you are working really, really hard to improve your finances and to up level. So let's see clear messages and guidance. Really, really strong Virgo Pisces energy coming through, which would make sense. Your opposite sign. This to me also the same axis as an indication of a strong soulmate connection. Let's see what we need to know about your person here, Pisces. The butterfly. Yeah. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. And, and there's something there about those wings coming through. Um, I don't know if somebody has like a pair of angel wings tattooed or wears like angel wing earrings or necklaces or something like that, or maybe butterflies. Um, and we see endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So I do feel there's a new beginning here with someone that you can very potentially take things to the next level with here, Pisces. So let's see. Let's see about uh, what's in your energy. Okay, so this person is definitely, maybe they're just a friend right now. That's what, or maybe they're going to be coming in as friends. Um, you know, it could, like I said, for some of you, it's a coworker that wants to be more. It's a friend that wants to be more. But I do think there's going to be a conversation that's going to be quite uplifting. It's going to be very telling about how this person feels. And if you want it, Pisces, stability, security, and growth is here. Um, but I see there's so much overthinking. There's a lot of nervousness and anxiety here. And I feel like it's mutual in a lot of ways. And yeah, this person is ready to make new memories. I feel like they're looking at your photos, um, reminiscing if you have memories with this person. For others of you, like I said, it could be somebody who's newer on the scene for you. All right, so let's see. What, Ed, what, what does this person want my Pisces to know? I don't want to let you go, Okay. And I don't know why this happened, all right? And I feel the sexual tension. So there's a very, very strong physical connection, all right? Um, there could be a little, you know, this person might be feeling a little bit confused. I do see that they're confused about you, and I wouldn't necessarily take that personally. Like I said, for a lot of you, it's their personal baggage that they're bringing to this connection. Um, all right, let's see. What advice do we have for my Pisces, please? Honor your ancestors. So learn how to connect to your ancestors so you may receive their guidance in your life. Okay. Some of you may have had a very strong connection. I'm picking up with a grandfather in particular. All right. And we get live outside the box. Don't be afraid to live your life outside of the norm. That's where the magic happens. So doing things differently. Maybe this person's very different than your usual type. All right, and higher view. Be aware if you're doing, if what you're doing fits the big picture and ask yourself what new actions you can take to elevate higher. All right, so getting getting the big picture, seeing things from a higher perspective. Beautiful. All right, let's see final messages for my Pisces. Ooh, so you've already learned the spiritual lesson. All right, so no repeating past mistakes. This absolutely is a destined partnership. You're safe and you're divinely guided. And you have somebody here who's secretly yearning for you. Wow. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using. Or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.